So to practice, let's do a quick example and let's use a graph. Okay. So here's our graph and it's pressure uh, by volume where this axis is pressure, this axis is volume. Okay. Doesn't really matter what units are. These could be ATMs or PSIs or anything you want. And this is volume. It also doesn't matter what it is. Okay. Uh, so let's calculate the total pro or the net work that's done to go from point A to point B to point C and back to point A. Okay. So basically, we want to break this problem down into steps. We first want to find the work done going from here to here, then the work done going from B to C, and then the work done going from C to A. Okay? We want to add those guys together, and that's our net work done. Okay? So let's find the work done from A to B. Okay? So let's redraw our graph. And so we go from 1 to 3. So from point 1 to point 3, okay, so our change in volume, okay, is 2. And we go from 200 to 400. Okay, and remember, we saw earlier that what is work? Work is simply the area underneath the graph, okay? In this case, force or a, a pressure isn't constant. And because pressure isn't constant, uh, we can't use the equation work equals pressure times change in volume. What we could do using the graph is draw lines down this way and find this entire area. And the way we do it is we break it down into a triangle and a, a, uh, a square or a uh, rectangle. Okay. So we know this side is 2. We know this side is 200 minus 0. So this side is 200. So the area of this entire thing, this entire shaded region, is 2 times 200, which is simply 400. Okay. How about this guy? This height here is what? Is 200 as well. This height here is what? Well, not high. This is, we don't know what it is. But what we do know is that this is a triangle. And triangle, the formula for the area of a triangle, is base times height divided by 2. So 200 times change in uh, volume 2 divided by 2. So this area here is 400 divided by 2, which is 200. So the work done going from point A to point B is 200 plus 400 so it's 600 joules or joules okay how about the work done going from B to C well going from B to C we, we first have to ask is the pressure constant okay and the pressure is not constant so we can't use the formula but what we could realize is that what is the change in volume? Well, the change in volume is zero, right? We go from B, volume of 3, to C, also volume of 3. 3 minus 3 is zero. So zero times the integral from this point to this point is simply zero. So this part is zero. So to recap, going from A to B requires... 600 joules or joules going from B to C requires zero joules and now let's calculate what what it means to go from C to A okay well we're going from C to A now we see that pressure is constant okay and now we can simply apply the formula work equals pressure which is 200 times change in this change in volume but now it's 1 minus 3 because it's the final volume times uh, minus the initial volume so we get 1 minus 3 is negative 2 so negative 2 multiplied by 200 is negative 400 joules or joules okay 
and to find the sum, we simply sum these guys up. 600 plus 0 plus negative 400 gives you a total or net 200 joules. So 200 joules and it's positive so that means the system does work 200 joules or joules of work on the surrounding. Okay so once again to quickly recap when you use a graph to find the value or to, uh, to find uh, the work done first thing you have to look is for the volume change if there is no volume change you automatically write or assume that the work done is zero if the pressure is constant like from a to c or to c to a use the formula work equals pressure times change in volume when it's not constant as is from A to B or B to A, we have to uh, integrate it. But we could also realize that if it's in a shape of a triangle, we simply use the triangle formula, find this area and then the area underneath. Okay? And to find a network done, we simply add the guys together uh, and, and find the final answer. But be mindful of the negative signs and understand what a negative sign means and what a positive sign means. If you're doing negative work, right, that means that the system is receiving work. So the surroundings is doing work on the system, okay? If the work is positive, then the work is being done by the gas on the surroundings, okay? And so the system is losing work. 